today I'm looking forward to a number of things. I'm really looking forward to hearing the keynote speakers. I'm looking forward to attending a number of different workshops and I'm most looking forward to just networking and getting to know some of the other primary and secondary specialists and contributors and of course all the delegates that are here today. The Boolean Maths Hub is one of 35 Maths Hubs nationally. It's part of the National Maths Hubs programme and we're led by the NCTM and funded by the Department for Education and we raise mathematics outcomes and education across the UK by working with schools. So it's a collaborative approach using work groups. Today we have our annual conference and we actually launched three years to the day. We have just under 300 people here today who will be listening to some fantastic key speakers, both Dr Emily Grossman and Johnny Ball, and also attending the workshops which are run by workgroup leads, local universities, local practitioners. So it gives a real idea and network of people coming together to see what the Maths Hub's about. Really it's just about coming and being around lots of people who are excited about maths and love maths and hopefully taking some of that excitement back into my classroom. It's really important that students have a deep understanding of mathematics rather than surface level shallow learning and so that's why we work with so many different people to try and raise those standards in maths. Maths must always be more than just numbers, it's got to be everything, so it's got to cross link the sciences, art, everything. It's got to be cross-curricular and I will be showing them how that works and how you can make that work and how you can be ambitious if you do that. I do think there's just too much time spent with numeracy in primary and too much time spent with statistics in secondary. And maths is much richer than that and I'll be trying to explain what I think uh, can be done, just a few ideas of things that can be done to make it much richer. I commonly give this presentation to basically help to alert secondary school students, A, that maths is cool and fun and interesting and relevant and, and is out there all the time in the world around us, and B, that as responsible citizens, young people included, there's some basic understanding of maths and numbers and studies and statistics that will help us to be canny and aware. The whole point of today is that teachers are able to access subject-specific, high-quality professional development. Being able to kind of gain that insight and the contacts and being able to then look at the work groups, I think that's the whole point of everybody coming together and just being bigger than just themselves in their own school. That's why we use Collaboration Counts. And the busting apart or challenging the stereotype that all mathematicians and scientists are cold and unemotional and that people like me who are sensitive and creative as well don't have a place in those careers. I think people really enjoyed coming together today and taking part in some of the exhibitions, working with others and also listening to some of the key speakers. People like Johnny Ball, they're maths enthusiasts, they're not maths teachers, but the work that they're doing and that of Emily Grossman, getting girls into maths and science and not being afraid of what's happening. I think that's really important. Mixing that with the workshops, there's been some amazing work going on up there today with mathematical thinking, reasoning, and early years working with summatizing. I mean, that's just beautiful. It's all of that coming together in one place. <laughs>